In this week's episode, we're going to talk about Snapchat. So let's get to it. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. So what is Snapchat? Basically, Snapchat is an ephemeral messaging app popular with millennials. There we go. Best synopsis ever. (laughs) So you and your friends can act on Snapchats and you can have private conversations. But I think its primary purpose is to share pictures and video. So with the app, you can take a picture or you can take a 10 second video and share that with your friends. And once they see it, It goes away. It's temporary. There is no history. So you have a private conversation in the now with them. Now, the other half of Snapchat, the part that I actually really like, are stories where I could take a picture or that same short 10 second video and I can share that to my story. And that video is available to anybody that follows me for up to 24 hours. So you could see what I've been doing for the last day. Now, there's other fun little things you can do in Snapchat. There's uh, filters and uh, little stencils, and you can put emojis in and stuff like that into your pictures. But describing that in an audio podcast won't do it justice. In the show notes, I've provided some links to some great tutorials other people have done on YouTube. I encourage you to go watch them, especially if you've never used Snapchat before. Go watch these videos first. Then when you first fire up Snapchat, you'll know what to do because it's not a very intuitive app. (laughs) Um, The only other thing I don't like about Snapchat is on my iPhone, at least, it's the most power hungry app I have. I'm not sure what's what's wrong with that. Either it's because the camera is always on or it's how the video gets played back, but it drains the battery faster than any other app on my uh, on my iPhone. I'm not sure why. (laughs) Now, would I recommend Snapchat to anybody? Well, if you're curious. I know people that this is their exclusive chat app. For me, I've got other ways to talk to people, so I don't use it for chat, but I do use it for my stories, and I like watching uh, what other people are doing. It's, 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 it's fascinating. It's a glimpse in other people's lives. So uh, if you want to follow me, I do post stories in there. Um, you can follow Program Witch. I will also have the uh, Snapchat ghost code on in the show notes. So all you have to do is open up the app, uh, point your camera at my ghost code, tap on it, and you will automatically follow me. And that's, that's another good feature of uh, Snapchat. So there you go. That's my quick review of Snapchat. There's now even more merchandise available in our Cafe Press Store. If you'd like to have a t-shirt or a coffee mug with the Blog Oklahoma Podcast artwork on it, just visit cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. That's one word, blog Oklahoma podcast. Don't forget to check out the bonus material I shared in this week's show notes. I have something there to help you beat excellent to each other and just a reminder not only can you find the blog oklahoma podcast at our website but you can find us on itunes stitcher youtube and we have our own private roku channel details as always at blog oklahoma.net I'm happy to announce, as of August 23rd, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 887 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham on Blog Oklahoma. And don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Until next time.